We're back at 812 with our Money Saving Monday series. And this morning, you can shop smart at the grocery store. Inflation has come down over the last year and a half, but consumers are still feeling that pinch, especially when it comes to the food budget. NBC's Vicki Wynn is here with everything we need to know to save. So, Vicki, what is going on? Why oh. are the prices so sky high uh, right now? If you feel like grocery prices yeah. have been rising every single year for the past four years, your gut feeling is absolutely correct. It is reflected in the data. This year, the Department of Agriculture says grocery prices will go up about 1.6%. Mm -hmm. In January, they're up 1.2% versus the prior year. That is like a big reduction, though, from when they were up 13.5% mm -hmm. in August of 2022. Here are the reasons why. You have increased labor costs, mm -hmm. higher wages, supply chain disruptions that have lasted from the pandemic, consumer demand is up as well, and then finally, climate change. We're talking about crops and also cattle. We'll talk about beef prices in a minute, but that all affects the price of the, the food that we, we buy. Okay. Well, let's get into the categories because some are up and some are down. Mm -hmm. Yes, we'll start. A lot of people have been talking about meat prices. Those are up 7.7% oh, last wow. year, and we're not going to see a lot of relief on that. Uh, for beef, chicken is up 1.2%. For new parents, I'm sorry to report, but baby food and baby formula oh is up almost 9%. So it is it's expensive tough. to yeah, start. Yeah, yeah. Your baking goods are also up 7% for sugar, spices as well, and cereal and bakery up 1.5%, which is in line with about the 2% inflation rate that people are hoping for in the Fed. But the good news is prices are also down in some significant categories. Oh. Eggs, remember how you had to eggs. manage remember your inflation? <laughs> yeah, inflation. Yeah. Right, we did it about three like stories on that. Leg yeah. to buy 12 eggs. Well, now they're down almost 30%, oh, which is great. <laughs> They've gotten a handle on the avian flu, which was what caused the price okay. spike in the first place. Seafood. So if you're in the Mediterranean diet, this is good. Fish prices mm -hmm. are down, and so are vegetable prices. Mm -hmm. If you love dairy, well, there you go. Down 2% for dairy, cheese, butter. So milk prices are down. Are there uh, When you're at the grocery store, there are, you can do some swaps and get yes. some cheaper stuff. So how do you do that? Let's start with breakfast because mm -hmm. that's the time that we're on right now. Take a sausage with your eggs instead of bacon because you're going to save 3% on oh. that side. Mm. Apples for the fruit that accompanies your breakfast instead of oranges. Okay. Now, going to lunchtime. Yeah, let's go to lunch. Lettuce is down 11.7%, right? So salad dressing is up 2%, but all you need, olive oil, <laughs> vinegar, some Dijon mustard, yeah. salt and pepper. Look at you making up. the meals. Make your own, yeah. make your own and salad no carbs. dressing. What I mean, about dinner? Yeah. What's happening dinner. dinner? Okay, we're going <laughs> seafood linguine. This is my favorite new thing. I take shrimp. You put in a little garlic, a uh, little <laughs> onion. You, like, saute it with some olive oil. Throw in some crushed red pepper. Add the pasta. That is going to be a lot cheaper than having the, the hamburger or the steak. Okay. There. Other Love than it. the swaps, what are, what are your other favorite strategies? Oh, by strategies? the way, candy, I should say. We what? keep saying, like, sugar is the devil. All the doctors yeah. come on and tell us all the inflammation. So, look, candy prices are up, baked goods, ice cream. So this could be the thing that ah. triggers all of us to give up our sugar habit. Because it's so Probably expensive. not, though. <laughs> yeah. What are some thought. other strategies? Okay, so we know we should never really buy anything at full price, and that goes for food, too. It helps to stick to a couple of local grocery stores so you get, to, like, a sense of the rhythm of mm -hmm. their sales when the coupon come out and the apps too. Unfortunately, unless you shop at a place like Trader Joe's where they just don't do sales, yeah. mm -hmm. everywhere else it's on some kind of cycle. They want you to download their app, mm -hmm. but you can save big when you combine with like manufacturer coupons. The other thing is we keep talking about dupes and how cool store brands are. Consumer Reports has been doing all kinds of reporting. Store brands are really good. They taste yeah. great. In blind taste tests, they surpass some of the brand names. So oh. buying generic, buying store brands will save, and it's going to be delicious. Stick to the outside of the store where all the fresh foods, the yeah. meat, the butcher department, because yeah. everything inside is more processed, tends to be higher priced. Mm. This is an interesting one. The marketers, they put everything eye level is buy level. So look above and look below because the lower priced items will be Ooh. down low or up higher. And then so funny. Are that. we that lazy? Yes, we, we don't are. want to be like, oh, oh like, there it is. Yeah. Is that my eye level? Yeah. <laughs> and also those loyalty programs. And if you can, sometimes, especially at the smaller local stores, if you pay with cash, you get a discount as well. Vicki, did it again. Yeah. Come on, girl. Thank, Thank you. you. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.